This is vocalist, keyboardist, and producer Wade C. Long, and you are listening to Lady Diva Live Radio. And now, your hostess with the mostest, the lovely Brenda Moss, a.k.a. Lady Diva. for tuning in. It is Thursday, uh, everyone, and I have a guest with me, first-time guest, and R&B and pop artist Jen Ash is with me. She is on my show to talk about her newest single, Trabo. So welcome, Jen, on the show. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm excited, too. So, I would like to uh, ask you, where are you calling from? So, I actually live in Los Angeles, California, but I'm from France. So, I grew up in France and was born in Lebanon, and I moved to California uh, seven years ago. 
All right. All right. So um, you're from France. I can tell by the accent. I can hear (laughs) hear you clearly. Uh, My southern accent gets in the way sometimes. So if I uh, kind of slur, just ask me to repeat anything. So (laughs) thank you. um, I'm calling from Evansville, Indiana, here in the United States. So, um, Ash, Jen Ash, uh, that song there, No Lover Lover, uh, tell me, what's the story behind the music? And uh, that song was recently released late last year, correct? Yeah, I released it in November last year. Um, For me, it was important because uh, I've been through a toxic relationship, and it was hard for me to get out of it. And you know, love is is difficult. Yeah. And, um, when we pick the wrong person, it's hard to get out of it and and find ourselves again. So when you break up, you think like that's the end of the word, but um, you realize later on that it was a blessing, and and you finally um, discover yourself and be confident, and and doors start opening for you. So I wanted to like make the song to um, tell everyone that it's sometimes it's not worth it to stay in a toxic relationship and the future is bright and there's so many doors that can open after that. So that was the main topic of the, of the song. Yes. That's why I love that song. I kind of figure that was the story behind the music. Uh, yeah, you have to you have to shed all that nasty old skin off and grow new skin, and mm-hmm. you have to grow thicker skin to build up your own confidence and love yourself. Uh, thank you, thank you for that information, and thank you for that song. Yeah. So as we move along, I'd like to uh, introduce you to the uh, curious listeners out there. Now, Jen Ash is a soulful pop and R and B artist. Of course, she mentioned she was born in Lebanon and raised in France. Now, after ending her professional basketball career, she decided to follow <laughs> her true path, moving to Los Angeles to pursue her music career. Now, is there anything uh, that I left out or you would like to add in there to introduce yourself to the curious listeners? Uh, introduce yourself, Jen Ash. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you said the the big part of it. Um <laughs> Basketball yeah, I mean, yeah. Basketball was my first love, and it taught me so much. Um, I wouldn't be the same person if I hadn't played basketball. Uh, I'm so strong mentally thanks to that. Um, I've learned how to um, work with people, uh, take criticism. It's, like, it's been like a great thing for me. So when I transitioned to the music industry, um, I, I didn't have any like problem listening to people and learning uh, new stuff because I, I, I didn't know how to write. I didn't know how to make music. Um, I just knew I had that voice and I needed to do something with it. But um, yeah, so I've, I've learned little by little. And then today I'm like I'm proud of myself for that, you know. All right. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for that. So I I know that your one of your uh, inspirations from one of the artists was the late Amy Winehouse and uh, yeah. that song Trouble. Now tell me, what really inspired you to create the song Trouble and why, why Trouble? So, um... It actually happened. It was actually a date um, <laughs> that I had. <laughs> yes. So um, I was feeling like it was it was a weird vibe, and I was feeling like it was a movie. So um, by the beat is very jazzy. It's very like it has blues, and it reminds me yeah. of her Amy Winehouse. And then she. <laughs> You can tell when she writes her song that it, it's from a real experience. So yeah. um, I wanted to make sure I bring that to the song. And she had she has this unique vibe, 
and it was hard for me to like get to a, her level um and i i was imagining like a very like black and white movie yeah like uh-huh. sin city movie so yeah. i had to put myself in a visual to uh-huh. make this song happen and um and trouble is like you know we live our life and then suddenly you like someone and you're like uh oh yeah, I'm like, gonna like <laughs> fall in love again, and he's gonna break my heart, and like it was a drama and all that. Yeah, because I mean, love is beautiful, but like it comes to you never know, you never know what yeah. you come up with. <laughs> yeah, so that's why it's called trouble because you're right. like, uh oh, I really like him, I don't know what's gonna happen, I'm in trouble, yeah. you know. Yeah, so yeah, that was that's why the song yeah. is called trouble. Well, to me, I'll be like. I made a terrible mistake. I don't like this person at all. Yeah, that's <laughs> trouble. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to stop talking, and we're going to spin Trouble by Jen Ash, everyone. You stand at hot seat, Jen. We'll be right back. Trouble, talking. everyone. Trouble. Jen Ash Music. Everyone go check it out. Uh, that track is uh, on your Spotify. Is that correct, Jen? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And all of her tracks, um, 
I would like to ask, what is that ultimate desire of which you wish all your fans and followers out there to get out of this newest single, Trouble? Um, I just want to be a part of their life and just, you know, be a memory for them. Every time I listen to music, it reminds me of something. So I'm, I just want to be a part of everybody's life by making music and and help them go through life, you know? Yes. And that is uh, part of your special skill is your songwriting channels into past and present experiences and future desires, right? Yes, totally. (laughs) (laughs) It's hard because you have to be vulnerable and everybody knows what's going on in your life. (laughs) You are a human being and that's how you learn life is experience and that's how you learn and people want you to be real you know yeah you have to be real and uh i have uh other songs that i will be playing uh towards the end of the show i have crush on you i just wanted to love you uh i have all alone as well and uh my uh, favorite is also i can't breathe And uh, I'll be asking uh, about those songs later in the show. Now, um, I'd like to ask you, is there any future music projects you would like to mention, if you want? Uh, Yes. So I'm planning, first of all, the music video for Trouble. That's a must. Yes. I'm like, yeah, I'm not a dancer, but, like, you know, I've danced when I go out. So I'm like practicing my dance move for that one. So oh, that's right. the goal to like be ready for the, the song. I want I want a nice music video. So I had people to help me do that. Um, I have uh, two or three songs in the making right now. Um, mm. And yes, it's under construction. <laughs> okay. Is there an album coming up? So uh, no, I think I'm gonna I'm only gonna do single and EP. Okay. I just feel like um, the album people are missing some of the song because uh, yeah. I know me when I listen to an album, I don't listen to all the songs. Yeah. So I just yeah. want to make sure everybody listens to every single song every time. So that's why I'm like put it into singles instead of like putting an album. Right. I sure did. I listened to all your singles. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so as um, we move along here, um, go ahead and give your website information, please, and your social media info. So website is jenashmusic.com. Uh, social media, Jen Ash Music on everything, Instagram, TikTok. Twitter and Spotify is Jen Ash. Apple Music is Jen Ash. I make it so much easier for everybody. Right. Um, yeah. Same thing. I didn't know yeah. you was on TikTok. Golly. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting there. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get better on TikTok, but I'm on it. <laughs> yeah. I um still trying to get better with it, and uh, I'm not on TikTok as much. Um. It's just so much stupid stuff on there. I just don't have time to look at stupid stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> I, know. I just There's don't be on TikTok. Yeah, I just uh, promote and uh, the shows on TikTok. That's all I do. But as we move mm-hmm. along here, um, I'd like to ask you about the album, or was that an album without you? Yeah. Was that an album? So, yeah, it's like a little EP. It's like, I believe, five or six songs. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that on your website. Yes. Yes. When was, when was that released? What year was that? Uh, I believe it was 2020. 2020, 2020 yeah. Uh, I, wrote half, I wrote some of it on 2020, so I think I released it in 2020 or 2021. Yeah. All right, and thank you for that info. Thank you. So um, as we move along, um, I'd like to mention about I Can't Breathe. What inspired yeah. you to create that song? Because that one had to been created back in 2020, correct? Yeah. Um, 
I started writing. It was funny because I wrote uh, a few. Sometimes I write and I stop because I don't have inspiration. So I've been writing. I can't breathe. It was another subject. Um, I wrote the chorus and then I let it, you know, on my computer for months. Um, and then uh, the thing with George Floyd happened, and yeah. I go back to my laptop, and I'm like. I just wrote like the chorus. So um, I feel like as an artist, I needed to like do something and just say something about it. Mm -hmm. Um, We all went on the street and uh, protest, but um, as, as a creative, um, it was my, my duty to do something. So um, I tried to like, and it was hard to write, but I tried to put myself in his, what he would say if, like, he was there. So it's not me talking. For me, I'm like, it's him singing the song. So, oh. yeah, it come from my voice, but, like, that's his words. That's his words to the word. Um, and so when people get mad and, like, telling me, like, you can't say that and you can't do that, and I'm like, it's not me. I'm just channeling the words that he would say yeah. to the people. So, yeah. um, and I'm just trying to, like, be a part of, like, fighting against racism because this is not something that should exist for me. Um, I'm myself a foreigner. When I moved to France, it was, it was you know, I'm Middle Eastern, and they just don't like Arabic people or Middle Eastern people. So it was uh, experienced some of that. Um, so I just needed to do something, and people were supporting me, half of them, and half of them didn't support me on that. But uh, at the end of the day, I did it for for people to wake up, and yeah. and we all needed to do something. Well, I appreciate that you were inspired to do the song. Sometimes you have Thank to you. stand alone, want to do something mm-hmm. right. And you did something right. And I like the song, I like the video, and I understood it. And so um, um, I appreciate what you did. And even though it's an oldie, it's still a goodie. And it was the first time Mm. I even heard of the song. And I sat there and listened to it, and it moved me. It gave me chills. It's amazing that it it was uh, over two, three years ago. That has no expiration date. You know, it will be on forever. So I thank Mm. you that track there too oh yeah yeah it was hard the first time I got the video I mean Eddie the one who produced the video and everything he sent me the first draft and I was in my car and I was like I need to park (laughs) right and I started watching the video and I'm like I'm getting so emotional and crying it was um yeah it was it was yeah it's yeah, hard to see, explain it. Yeah. yeah, because, see, you actually put yourself in his spirit, what he yeah. would do, how he would sing it, how the words coming uh, right from him. It's like he jumped into your body, into your soul mm. to do it. So I felt that one. It was just oh, nice. sure. Yeah. Uh, I was just like, oh, wow, she did that one. Yes. So I thank you for that one. Yes, thank you. Oh, anytime. Of course. Yes. So uh, you're more than welcome to give shout outs to all the supportive people that's been supporting you throughout your music career. Um, how long you been uh, doing music? How many years? Uh, um, started in 2018. Um, my friend, uh, I met this guy uh, through a friend. His name is uh, Perry Bat. Uh, he helped me get it started. He teach me how to like make music, how to write. He wrote like my first song, and I'm forever thankful for him because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. So he believed in me when nobody did. So right. um, yeah, I love him to pieces. Yeah, and I want to thank Eddie too that um, is always here to like make nice work and nice video for me uh tim my uh engineer that 
record all my vocals and tell me when I say something wrong. <laughs> that is not English. <laughs> that you is need those kind English. of people. <laughs> yeah. I was like, please tell me if I said something wrong. <laughs> so he's the one. Uh, yeah, thank you for all my family, my friends, and thank you for all the people that do not support me because they help me prove them that they're wrong. So I thank them too. All right, then. I'm going to give them an applause. And Michael. Yeah. Yes, if it wasn't for them, it wouldn't be you. Mm, yes. Yep. So, uh, was there someone else you wanted to mention? Yeah, so uh, MTS management, Michael, has been a blessing to me. Um, I started working with him like two months ago, and he's he's amazing. Like, really believe in, in me and understanding how yes, being he is. an independent artist is and the struggle and the hustle. Yes, he's very he humble, is. and yeah, he's an angel. Yes. yes, he is. Yes, he is. Shout out to uh, mm-hmm. Michael, yes. And uh, I would like to ask you about the other tracks. Uh, All Alone, uh, when, when when that song was released? Mm. 2019, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It sounds new to me. It's, I like it. <laughs> and R&B and know. pop, I love it, man. People come yeah. come with me now. Yes, yes. And uh, crush on you. When was it released? Uh, last year. Um, yeah, I released it last year. I wanted to release it for Valentine's Day last year, but uh, oh, I'm it's, like, it's uh, new to me. Yes, I played it uh, the other day, and uh, I like Crush on You. Yes, thank you for that one. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to love you. When when that mm-hmm. was that one released? Uh, it's in the album Without You, so 2020. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all for that information on all your music. Uh, mention your website again, please, Jen. Uh, JenAshMusic.com. All right. And thank you for that information. Thank you. And so... Um, Trouble is actually streaming uh, where, Jen? Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, YouTube, uh, everywhere. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that info as well. Any encouraging words you'd like to give, Jen Ash, uh, for uh, people that are suffering in the world today or any advice you want to give to the up-and-coming uh, musicians? Um. I would say um, first do it for the love because it's a long journey and it's like rocky and there's a lot of like um, ups and downs. So do it for the love and never give up because it's so worth it. It's just like you need to be consistent and strong and never, ever give up. Right. That's the key. Never give up. Jen Ash, Mm -hmm. everyone. Jen Ash, her new single, Trouble, which is a tribute for the late Amy Winehouse. I love that song. And, uh, Jen, you have a blessed day. Thank you for uh, taking out your time to come and participate with me on my platform. Uh, Come on back with your new music project. You're welcome to come back. Nice. I'll be happy to. (laughs) <laughs> All right, and thank you, and thank you, Jen Ash. Thank everyone, you check her me. out. Yes, check her out on her website. Check out all her music, uh, especially on Spotify. Uh, this is Brenda Moss, aka Lady Diva, signing out for Lady Diva Live Radio. Thank you, everyone, and good night.